Five came out uh, in one month, and um, Howard Hughes had just had his airplane accident, remember? Uh, and uh, he sent for them, and I went to 20th, where Ben Lyon was head of casting, and didn't I tell you that? No. Well, he came out. He, there was a long waiting uh, on the hard benches. We were sitting out. Uh, people of all ages and sizes and everything. He came and he says, who is this girl? So he said, I look so fresh and young and I don't know what all. He was very enthusiastic. I mean, he said, he said, oh, he says, you're, oh, you know, you had high hopes for me. Well, they made a Technicolor test. Uh, the following day, which was unusual, but they sort of sneaked it in. All of them got together in the, in the talent department, uh, and they put me into contract, under a stock contract, for a year, and then I was dropped. And then, um, then I was hired at Columbia. Then when I was hired back after the Asphalt Jungle, you know, the 20th Century Fox, um, Zanny said, I understand you used to be uh, here. I said, that's right. Well, uh, things are quite different now. <laughs> I said, um, and he said, I had a three-dimensional quality having to do with sex. He says, uh, he says, quite reminiscent of Harlow. And it was interesting since Ben Lyon had been saying that. <laughs> Oh, yes. Right. Yeah. Because, well, I wanted my mother's maiden name because I felt that rightfully was my name. I couldn't take my father's name very well. So uh, I wanted at least something that was related. So I said, I want the name Monroe, which was my mother's maiden name. And uh, the true things are rarely, the true things rarely get into circulation. It's usually the false things. Yes. That's what she claimed. But as a friend of my husband says, he was he was one of our lesser presidents. Surely, <laughs> <laughs> I was at the Hollywood Studio Club, and though they say that I wasn't, I was. I know it was me. <laughs> happened to. <clears throat> it was I? It was me. Aye. I. It was I. It was all true. I was behind in the rent, and they usually let you get about a week behind in the rent, and since, you know, they write me and say, you're the only one who doesn't support this wonderful, uh, you know, <gasps> wonderful. It's not so wonderful unless you're working and paying your rent. Tom Kelly had asked me, I had done some beer ads for beer for him, and he had asked me to pose nude. Actually, I'd be in a bathing suit or something like that. So he asked me to pose nude, and his wife, Natalie Kelly, she'd be in the dressing room, and I'd be getting dressed and changing. So she said to him, probably, um, you know, she got to do nudes or something.